<laughs> well, we've heard about long lines at polling sites across the triangle today, and though the polls are closed right now, some people are still waiting to cast their votes. Yeah, it's unbelievable where Beershell Edmay is right now at Briar Creek Community Center. Quite a line out there, Beershell. How long have some yeah. of those people been waiting? You know, it all depends on what time you got here. So we had people coming out of the polling center telling us they had to wait two to three hours just to get inside. That doesn't mean that they were actually voting once they got inside. And I know you don't see a line right now outside, but that is because they've been trying to get people inside. So what they were doing is putting people in waves of 15, having them kind of stand against a wall and then filtering them through whatever ballot areas they could actually go to vote in. So instead of showing you people in line going in, you could see people coming out. Out. And again, of course, we know that uh, polls closed at 730, but there's still people waiting to go ahead and vote. And legally, as long as you're in line by 730 here in North Carolina, then you have that opportunity to go ahead and vote. And we wanted to talk to people here about what drew them to go ahead and stand two to three hours in line to make their voices heard. And I wanted you to hear from the second to last person who was in line tonight at Briar Creek. Why did you come out to vote today? Why was it important to stand in line? I came out to try to make a difference and to make my voice heard. And, you know, I think it's important How much for more time to do you need from way, me after that slot? Um, you know, people get elected that should get elected. What were some okay. key issues for you that have kind of been on your mind as you walk into the polling center? Um, so I was looking over some of the bonds that are being passed. And so, you know, I'm here to support the Wake County Public Schools. And so that's something that I'm interested in and in voting for that in particular. And aside from maybe the local issues, we've just seen such high turnout and you could speak to that and having right, stood in this line. Right. What do you think is driving, whether it's yourself or your peers, your neighbors to come to the polls and vote? Yeah, no, I, I've felt the same way, um, you know, before even considering to come here and even knowing Election Day, I've, how a lot of people came up and told me, hey, you know, Election Day's on, you know, this Tuesday. So um, why people are coming, I'm not totally sure. <laughs> um, I think... Uh, it's probably just more publicized for whatever reason this year, and uh, I think it's a great thing. Certainly a lot of different reasons for the for why people decided to go ahead and vote. And I do want to touch on one thing that Tyler mentioned, which was the Wake County bond. You know, we talk about the big picture here, a lot of the congressional races, but there are a lot of local issues that matter to voters, too, whether they are the bonds or the North Carolina constitutional amendments that are on that ballot. So, of course, as we get the results from those issues, we're going to bring them to you right here, uh, whether it's online or later on air. For now, reporting in Wake County, I'm Bear Shaladme with CBS 17 News.